This is the question everybody has, right Al? We're putting vortex generators on the roof. <laughs> Those are really doing it. Like, re like real vortex generators. Uh, air tabs. Air tabs. Uh, are we allowed to say air tabs? I These guys. If they work, I'm sure the air tabs well, will be Well, you paid for them, so yeah, we can use it. Okay. Because this, this is the question probably floating out there so more than like anything. What will they do? Yes. How much? Yeah, they're, they're the instruction manual like, like, send us pictures of your installation. We'll send them a video. Yeah, and if they work, if they work, they better give me a free set. I want a big sticker. You just want a sticker? <laughs> oh, that's like so cheap. And what do you got? Ten? I mean, if you're setting up a tractor trailer, it gets expensive. Gotcha. Yeah, I've seen like I, I saw like two or three tractor trailers on the way down here with these on it. Yeah. There's some of them sitting in the Oh, that was, that was quick and easy. All right, so this one, this one should be Just cool. Chuck that back in the car. Good. Yeah. All right. I'll here we go. With the smoke. All right, so we now have definitive numbers in the wind tunnel of roof vortex generators. If you want to know the numbers of this run. You gotta watch the rest of the video. All right, so now large end plates. So we've done we've done this before on the Audi. Um, that video is linked down below. So should make more downforce. How much? We're not sure. Um, so yeah, see what happens to this. Speed, baby, speed. Times money, right, Al? Sure. <laughs> oh, and they're clear, so we can see. Yeah. Say how you want. There you go. Make it level. Middle-ish. Level-ish. You gonna do all three bolts or just two? Two should be plenty. What if the end cap ripped out of the wing? I've seen it happen. Look at that angle on it though. Yeah. There. Now it's straight. Now it's not. What does that sticker say? Hold on, we got it backwards. Oh yeah. Shit. Come on, man. Oh, way to go, guys. <laughs> it sort of looks like it should go. <laughs> if we had extra time, we could like tape off that little notch in the back. See what that does. Well, let's say we're Yeah. All right, so we picked up a little bit on that one. Uh, kind of expected. What are we? What are we doing on this one? Uh, just adding a gurney, which uh, a gurney flap on our wing is a run we did before as well. So it'll be interesting to see see the changes uh, between different wings. Yeah. We should probably try and tape just the top if we can now. I am. I just okay, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Because honestly, that little tape edge on the bottom could. Uh, yeah. Because this. Yeah, tape only, tape only the top. Yeah. Because the, the top of the wing isn't too critical, so even if you have to right, yeah, it's it's high pressure. wrinkle it, yeah, it's just stack yeah. there. Yeah, so this will be interesting to see what this does on this one. All right. Are we set? Oh, uh, yeah, anything on the back? Nope. All right. I don't think so. Yeah, it should just kind of stay down. All right, cool. So this one surprised us. On the trunk? It'll be putting a load on the, this narrow thing and sit on the plate. But. Well, let me get an angle meter. You have yours, AJ? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, mine's just the regular analog one in that box. Okay. So what was it? This the gurney on this wing, this setup was a hundred and something pounds yep. at hundred miles an hour, which is that's actually a lot. That's crazy. That's five degrees. Okay. Oh wow. So all right. So it was actually. Do it. Okay. And then I'll measure. All right. And if we can't do that. Stress on every small spot though. But. Two degrees. It was three now. Okay. So we took so out. We took out two degrees. Three that. degrees. We took two out. Okay. So we'll run that. Camera. Yeah. All right. So since this is the wing, this car will be running on. We're working on a little bit of balance issues. Um, so we're going to try and drop the wing. Yeah. <coughs> we'll try and drop the wing a tiny bit more. There isn't holes in the uprights, so when they get home, they'll do it properly. But we're kind of just. Yeah, I'm bolting the rear to let it kind of just rest on the rear. Yeah. So how much did we... Oops, so you can see this hole right here. We just let it kind of fall down to the upright. It looks pretty... If you look at the bubble, we should be level. That's zero, so that was okay. three degrees. Let me okay. just make sure. Yeah, so we took three, another three degrees out of it. All right. So that's going to be safe. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this run, we're going to put some tire blockers on. So the, the runs we were talking about, Al, uh -huh. I think we should, um, yeah, we'll run this. We'll put the canards on, then yank the tire blockers. And then run with the canards. And then... Well, I think we should take the canards off so that way all the wings we do in the future has a baseline run to oh no this would have a baseline with canards uh -huh, right. okay yeah so yeah we'll just leave them on okay all right so tire blockers are on Al's the, Al's the cameraman now you can you can talk though AJ yeah about what <laughs> I don't know you're on camera you don't know what to talk about Got our numbers with the tire blockers. Um, I'll be good doing this. Yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna do what canards with tire blockers, which is something I get asked often enough. Take up my home. And then what next run? We're gonna remove tire blockers. Kind of see how they work in conjunction or individually. And then what? Smoke? Smoke. Good enough for the wind tunnel? Right out? Good enough. Zip screws and tape. Alright, so, so we don't have. This bumper isn't quite uh, the proper bumper that these were designed for, but they're close enough. So we'll see what we get. So that run, oops. So that run was pretty cool. Canards did, you know, what we kind of thought they would do. Um, obviously, they're going to be different on every car. So now we're going to remove the little tire blocker, but leave the canards. So that way we have a run of canards or tire blockers or canards and tire blockers. So um, yeah, we'll see what we get with this one. numbers of the canards 
and tire blockers. And what was it, Al? Canards were the best. Tire blockers weren't too far behind. Combine was the best option, I believe. Yeah. Definitely. If we're talking downforce. Um, so we'll, we'll look at all these numbers and, uh, you know, kind of go through it all. But, you know, again, every car is going to be a little bit different. All right, so like earlier on that side, that top that's coming off here is almost curving. So there's definitely like a high pressure here, but that low pressure kind of wants to suck it under. So that's kind of why it was maybe like almost like snaking a little bit. doing two angles, right? Yeah, just two across each wing. Just the time is, uh, yeah. Kind of tight. Yeah, now the bubble and the gauge say zero. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do a little wing angle change. Yep. Going up from zero to so five. Bad. It's this point three. That's good, Gene. Put it, zip it in. Yeah. You're running out of room on your little uh, yeah, uh, stanchions there. 9.2 right there. Right. 
Calling it the big butt. Yeah, what we're doing now, putting on our pick from 14. Um, in the pick, uh, this is actually the wing that was on my car at Nationals. <laughs> um, so this one shouldn't have a problem making the most downforce today. The balance of the car is going to be terrible, most likely, but it's just kind of for our own knowledge to see what it will make. Not measure the gurney on this one. And so we'll see what this one does. Alright, so most downforce by far. Uh, efficiency was good. So yeah, we're gonna do an angle change. Alright, so yeah, so even at negative one degree, it made the most downforce of all the wings on the car today. Um, but the balance was thrown off, so Unless there was some front end work going on, it might be a little bit too much. Or we could always take the gurney flap out and change that, right? <laughs> We're going to, well, we technically want like four. We want, that, yeah, four, sorry. All right, so we finished the last run with uh, our Fulcrum 14 at five degrees, technically four. Um, yeah, most down fours, most drag by a little bit, so uh, the car's lift to drag was the best uh, by a long shot, so so that's cool. Um, so yeah, so I think that's about a wrap on this one. We're going to get the car out of the tunnel and uh, wrap up a few things. Alright guys, so that's about it for this one. We're done today at the A2 wind tunnel. Um, this is my third time here, the longest, you know, uh, one time run I've been here, so we learned a ton as always we kind of have like more questions than than answers um but we got a bunch of good data it was cool comparing our wings to some competitor wings um you know al over at race louver is doing all his hood louver stuff so um yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date and as always i'll see you in the next one